Angela Marie, I hope you're out there somewhere because it's getting cold, so I guess to have his clothes on. So. Oh, you're gonna love what I found for him somewhere. You see where is he? I said they're trying to get the squirrel. But I found the perfect outfit. Because you know he gets cold. He can't. That's the thing. That's why short-haired dogs do make good house dogs. Ah, they're cuddle bugs. They're not shedding all over your house. Yeah, they're snuggling up on the bed. But they're not shedding everywhere. Anyway, there's his adorable outfit. Hello, George. George, I want you to, if you can, message me a little synopsis of what you've kind of gotten out of this training. <laughs> you know... <laughs> Thank you for getting it. That's why I closed that other channel. I just, I just couldn't. These people are just not getting it with this much information. Oh, I'm gonna show you the video this guy sent me. I mean, work. <laughs> if you said Kelly, you're just probably nervous that this guy's snapping at your heels with this work. Yeah, I'd say that's funny, George. It's terrible. Anyway, if it gets cold here, our dogs have to wear clothes. So. In fact, you need to get Horace the, uh, the pager. You've got to be ahead of your time, George. If you got the work, if you got the pager and even did the work I was doing 10 years ago, you'd still probably be 20 years ahead of every trainer there. Everywhere else is far behind. If you said, what are you basing it on? How far behind these people here are? That's what I'm basing it on. All right, look, I'm going to do a psychic set. If you said, what was that? That was a psychic set. If you said... He got his shirt all dirty. I, I see that. Uh, so his movement might be a little bit compromised by wearing that shirt. But he's got a flying deliver. I mean, a flying return to heel. He said, where did that come from? But he loves going up in the air. And if you're there, Mike, I do understand where the opposite of making the dog wait for food is the right thing to do. Making it very, very ritualistic so that what this dog does, because I go, I've got your food, Fitty, your food, your food, Fitty. And he's getting excited and jumping up, and then I'm adding, I'm a part of that rather than I'm the one putting a stop to that, wait for your food. And if you said, what is it? He goes about five feet in the air. <laughs> I gotta be careful. And so does the squirrel. <laughs> oh, as you love me, Bubba. Yeah. If you can get a screen grab of that one, Mike. If you said, well, you looked like you looked in sheer terror, it was coming at you. If you said, what did it look like? It looked like a dog very high in the air. If you said, where's he at now? I said, for that squirrel. The, the painful part is these squirrels are juveniles, and I understand that probably if they can't make it through the first year. All right, so if you said do silent training, don't use any words. shirt he was giving the shake off not me so he's all loaded up basically what I'm doing is I can make him stop with the pager and if you sit out I can bump it and make him go into a sit so if you said he was already gonna do it he added a little pump foot stomp to it so if I I have to be careful he's so loaded up he'll just fly through the air but I do want him to behave your model It's making him get more loaded up. He's, it's, it's all, it's already hooked up to that system. If he was trying to get squirrels and I said, get it, he would go get it. So let's just face it. Let's face it. All right, so I want him to be able to move him around. Oh, he's ready to fire. I gotta be careful. See it. I think 
the shirt's helping him. Did you say you purposely stepped off with that? Oh, absolutely. So, eventually your training is just involves the word bam, bam, bam. Oh, hi, I'm Andy. I'm going to get Parker out next. Puffy, Puffy Parker, I've actually, we've actually made up a song, a whole storybook. I'm, I'm picturing a whole children's book. And Parker first is just a normal, beautiful Labrador. Then he puffs up like a puffer fish. And there's got to be some lesson learned here. I don't know what it is, but we'll figure it out. Just a cute, just a cute kid's story. You know, Parker got all puffy. And then, somehow, I don't know. You, such, you should see these crazy children's books. You should see them. You know, the ones we had when we were kids, those were disturbing at best. Grim fairy tales. Huh. Yeah, nice cannibalism, all these things. Great! They sound like a lovely world that we live in. That's it. He's watching my eyes. <laughs> if you said he didn't take your eyes off you right now, he didn't. <laughs> Our eyes were made locked the whole time. Uh, so he said, get him on the platform. Enough of that practice. Let's let him retrieve something one time. Yeah, that's enough of him coming right in my face. So yeah, he's totally airborne, but I'm triggering impulses. I'm not trying to stop him. That would be ridiculous. If I said I'm gonna correct this dog for going after squirrels, <laughs> oh my god, it'd be hopeless. I would have already given up by now. My job is to take that energy and be able to tap into it. Yay. All right, let me just go get his dumbbell one time. So that's what we have to think of. This dog is all trained with haptics. He doesn't need words. He said you can have, you can't have, yeah. You have friends that you're only, I believe them when they say eventually they're going to be able, you're going to be able to get messages through your skin and know who these people are. If you said some people, other people won't be as good at it. I would say, I believe that, I believe that. Okay, hang on, hang on. model my behavior. Yay. Get him in the <laughs> It's the climb! It's unsafe at any speed! If you said, what is that thing? Oh, no, it's the de facto squirrel. Now it's the de facto squirrel. So I'm sending him to go get it. I'm driving the energy towards the object as opposed to the energies building up and being released. It's a totally, totally different thing. The energy's all built up. Now it's released towards the object is different than driving the energy. It's, it's, it's the same as the recall. It's two different things. All right, let me do it one more time. Let me see if I can fix my platform. No, I don't think I can fix my platform. Let me get him on the other part. Hang on.
some dog, some dog. Sit. If I could not, if you said he's easy to handle, anyone can handle. Not really. All right, I'll be right back. And don't worry, Angie Marie, he's got his shirt on, so he's staying warm.